There is no time to lose, Captain. Magnus is growing weaker by the moment. We must storm the fortress of Zinch before it's too late. I've arranged for the portal to deliver you to the foot of the Harbinger's Tower in the fortress of Zinch. From there, you must fight your way to the Harbinger's Sanctum at the top. What about Voss? Is there any chance he might still be alive? There's no time for that, Captain. The fate of the Empire is at stake. I can't just leave him there. Not if there's a chance of getting him out. Do you think he would do the same for you? That's not the point. No, I suppose not. Do as your conscience dictates, Captain. I cannot say what you will find once you are inside the tower. But I can say this. If the Harbinger hasn't killed Voss by now, I suspect he wishes he were dead. Then I'll see to it he's avenged. What is this? It's... It's like a twisted reflection of the tower back in Nuln. What will I find once I get to the throne room?
Volan! How is this possible? You said he couldn't follow us! I never thought he'd risk the realm of chaos, much less challenge Axarath. There may be more to this little soldier than I thought. This is all because of Teclis! I told you he would be trouble! But Teclis isn't here, is he? Brother, you fret like an old fishwife. Everything is under control. Uh, brother? What is she talking about? Skraling said that... Uh... Skraling knew me as Helspeth Bale. But once upon a time, my name was Helspeth Voss, and I was a merchant's daughter in Nome. In those days, I wanted to be a scholar. But the university did not accept women. So, I chose a different path. And I was a very attentive student indeed. I grew powerful and careless. It was only a matter of time before the witch hunters took notice. And who should catch me but my very own brother? Oh, if you could have seen the look on his face. That's enough. He knew he couldn't arrest me. Not without bringing suspicion onto the entire family. It would have ruined his precious ambitions. I said that's enough! My brother craves nothing so much as power, you see. That's why I knew he would agree to my plan. And what does he gain by betraying Magnus and making you leader of the Chaos Horde? Her? <laughs> she doesn't want to lead the Horde. I'd rather rule from the shadows. Let someone else assume all the risks. You think you can kill Magnus and put your brother on the throne? Don't be ridiculous. Magnus isn't going to die. He's the key to the entire plan. Once the spell has run its course, Magnus will rise again. It will be seen as a miracle, a sign of divine grace. The Elector Counts will rush to proclaim him Emperor, never suspecting that his soul belongs to me. I will rule through Magnus, and the Empire will be plunged into a new age of horror and despair. So you see, I do not need a horde to conquer the old world. I just need one man. No, that... that's not what we agreed! You said I would be the next Chaos Lord! That was the point of stealing the relics! The Horde was to be mine! That wasn't what I said, brother. That was what you chose to hear. You lied to me! Brother... I am the champion of the Dark Gods. Mine is the power, and mine alone! You witless fool! I'll show you power!
The curse had been broken. Free from the corrupting touch of chaos, Magnus recovered quickly, thanks to the work of Teclis and the Sigmarite priests. Not long after, the Elector Counts gathered in Nuln to proclaim Magnus as their Emperor. The Great War Against Chaos was over, and the Empire of Man had been restored. A great victory had been won, but the struggle to rebuild the Empire had only just begun. The Servants of Chaos had been defeated, but there were other enemies across the Old World and beyond that would rise to take their place. You have earned your place amongst the Empire's greatest heroes, but your deeds are far from done. The legend of Conrad Volan is still being written, and your greatest battles are yet to come. <laughs>